This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete Haynes online manual at haynes.com. Turn the badge on the grill to access the lock cylinder for the bonnet. Using the key, release the bonnet latch. Raise the bonnet upwards and support it with a prop rod. The max and min marks are indicated on the front and sides of the reservoir. The fluid level must be kept between the marks at all times. If topping up is necessary, first wipe clean the area around the filler cap to prevent dirt entering the hydraulic system. Unscrew the reservoir cap and lift it out of position. Inspect the reservoir. If the fluid is dirty, the hydraulic system should be drained and refilled. Carefully add fluid using a funnel if necessary and taking care not to spill it onto the surrounding components. Use only the specified fluid. Mixing different types of fluid can cause damage to the system. After topping up to the correct level, securely refit the cap and wipe off any spilt fluid. Withdraw the engine oil dipstick. Using a clean rag or paper towel, remove all oil from the dipstick. Insert the clean dipstick into the tube as far as it will go, then withdraw it again. Note the oil level on the end of the dipstick, which should be between the maximum and minimum marks. If the oil level is only just above or below the minimum mark, topping up is required. Oil is added through the filler cap. Unscrew the filler cap and top up the level. A funnel may be useful in reducing spillage. Add the oil slowly, checking the level on the dipstick often and allowing time for the oil to run to the sump. Add oil until the level is just up to the maximum mark on the dipstick. Do not overfill. The coolant level varies with the temperature of the engine and is visible through the expansion tank. When the engine is cold, the coolant level should be between the max and min marks on the front of the reservoir. When the engine is hot, the level may rise slightly above the max mark. If topping up is necessary, wait until the engine is cold. Slowly unscrew the expansion tank cap to release any pressure present in the cooling system, then remove it. Add a mixture of water and antifreeze to the expansion tank until the coolant level is halfway between the level marks. Use only the specified antifreeze. If you're using Ford antifreeze, make sure that it is the same type and colour as that already in the system. Refit the cap and tighten it securely. The reservoir is mounted under the right hand headlight which requires the removal of the headlight unit to gain access. Undo the headlight upper retaining bolt. Depress the retaining clips on the rear of the headlight and pull the units from place. Disconnect the wiring plug from the rear of the headlight as it's withdrawn. The fluid level can be viewed through the reservoir body and should be between the max and min marks when the engine is cold. If the level is checked when the engine is running or hot, the level may rise slightly above the max mark. If topping up is necessary, wipe clean the area around the cap, then undo the reservoir cap. Take care not to introduce dirt into the system when topping up. 
Using a funnel to prevent spillage, top up the reservoir as necessary. Use only the specified type of fluid and do not overfill the reservoir. When the level is correct, securely refit the cap. Refit the headlights unit. Connect the wiring plug, then fit the headlight housing in place. Tighten the retaining bolt securely. The washer fluid reservoir filler neck is located in the right hand corner of the engine compartment. Remove the filler cap and look down the filler neck. If fluid is not visible, topping up may be required. When topping up the reservoir, note that the bottle can safely be filled to the top. Snap the lid secure.